finishing the job. I mean, <laughs> that right there should speak enough to you to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> So you guys are reading that title correctly. I made one attachment change to my rival nine build and it eliminated virtually all recoil on the weapon. And it's not the Jack BFB. So let's just stop that right there. That attachment stinks, number one. But this thing's good at close range. It's got a fast fire rate. That's where you're going to find the most success. But if you get into a situation where you need to take a medium range and sometimes even long range fight, you are still going to compete. One attachment changed all of that. Let's get into it. Starting here with a stock. This is all of my attachments. You'll know when which attachment changed. We have a stock with the MTZ Marauder stock. That's going to give you gun kick, aiming idle sway, and fire aiming stability. The big one here is the gun kick and fire aiming stability. The aiming, swat, idle, aiming idle sway is nice but 10% of the gun kick, and more importantly, that fire aiming stability is what we're targeting with this attachment. Another recoil attachment is the rear grip with the rival vice assault grip, giving you gun kick control, fire aiming stability, and base recoil control. Same reason we did choose the stock here, but we are gaining some recoil on top of this one. So we get 10% of the gun kick, 7% of the horizontal and vertical recoil control, and of course, the fire aiming stability. I've seen a lot of different under barrels run on this one, and honestly, I would say this is a preference attachment. I do prefer to run the DR6 hand stop here simply because it gives me ADS, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement. But if you want more recoil, another good attachment is the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. Personally, I do like the DR6 here. Now we're at that one attachment I was talking about. We got the Trebuchet Break. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Doesn't matter at the end of the day because this thing's freaking awesome. We are sacrificing a little bit of damage range along with aim down sight speed, but 25% of the gun kick, 15% of the horizontal and vertical recoil control. We're pushing Jack BFB, you know, values here, but we're not a walking advanced UAV. We're not sacrificing a bunch of mobility. But honestly, I'm surprised not a lot of people are talking about this attachment because dang, it's a good one. In our final attachment, here's the Rival C clear shot barrel for aiming idle sway, bullet velocity, damage range, along with recoil control. Kind of the best of all worlds here, simply due to recoil and damage range. The big one is the damage range at 13%, bullet velocity at 15%. Along with that, we get that smaller values there towards recoil control. Isn't it kind of crazy how one attachment can completely change a weapon? And some people don't even know it exists? I bet you a lot of you don't know this muzzle exists. Copy it down, give it a try, I promise you. Woo, you gonna see. And as always, here's the rest of your loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to pause to copy this one down, I promise you, you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to watch this gameplay through. You're going to see me take like a 50 meter gunfight and win it. So that should speak volumes to what this one change can really do to the rival nine. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button for me. Let's get into it. So I just played against one of those YY movement gods. You know, the people that can't freaking shoot straight and just spin around in circles and stuff. And they're always the funniest people to me because they're so easy to kill if you just calm down and just stand there. And I unfortunately shut off my recording because I died off a nuke and I was all butt hurt, you know, how I normally get. I mean, my name's Salty for a reason after all. But I ended up pulling out the superior and just absolutely nuking him. And I regret that decision. I do. Poor decision making on my end. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my God, I did not expect around the corner right there and have all of them be there. What can you do? Teammates ended up cleaning up every single one of them, which means their spawns are gonna flip. But we have the rival nine. I've taken one attachment and completely changed the recoil on this thing. It's crazy what one attachment can do. The trebuchet shake break, trebuchet break. I don't even know how to say it, dude. Doesn't matter. But this one attachment really shaped the recoil pattern for this whole thing. Changed it all. I mean, <laughs> that right there should speak enough to you to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not challenging that, that's a sniper. Um, I am cracked out of my mind right now. So bear with me. I may be jittery, talk a lot, do a little extra movement than what's necessary, but that's simply because honestly, after nuking like a try hard guy, a movement king, it just kind of puts, it's like dopamine. You know what I mean? It, it's that dope. You didn't know you needed. And it definitely, oh God, I don't see how I'm coming out of this. I got to peek this quick. Yep. Nope. I got to take a different approach here. That was a bad, this is not good. I am pinched. 
Yeah, this is not good. I'm so screwed. Yeah, teammates, push him out. Push him out. We're not gonna. I'm, I'm too close to my VTOL to want to push that. We're gonna go up top here. We saw him. I'm gonna go VTOL here. Teammates got an SAE, but I need the info. Okay. I should be safe here. I gotta wait for the VTOL though. I'm gonna lay right here. <clears throat> I think they're gonna be spawning up top there. No, apparently not. Oh, they're up top. Advanced UAV. And a UAV. Let's go with the advanced. Oh, well, I guess I'm going with the UAV. I didn't mean to do that, but. Not getting away from me. That guy's in the top there again. Kind of ruins my progress. Yeah, I'm not peeking that. What's bad is I'm pinched between two sides here. I could stay here, but it's not going to be the best move. I'm going to go over here, Cal the Hill. While the advanced UAV up and all the more of them over here. Beats hold. And we got a DNA. Okay, that's good. No more stress on that. We'll hit this first. DNA bomb will wipe them out, and then we're gonna go with this. They're spawning here, and we'll hit it there. I don't think they'll reach out me. They don't want to get near the VTOL, so they're going to try to... Oh, teammate actually wiped him out anyways. So we obviously saw you there, pal. I think I hope I give I've given you guys enough evidence to prove my claims of this muzzle. The long range fights being the big one. Oh, I got stuck. That's tough. Teammate just saved my life for sure. Alright, I gotta slow down. I gotta slow down. I'm gonna be getting a little too big for my britches here, and I'm taking gunfights I shouldn't take. I thought there was one here. That sniper finally got me. I'm just glad it wasn't on my nuke streak, but I should be. Well, he's so far away from the hill. I don't even know if I want to bother with him. Copy that. UAV is on station. Changing mag. A little bit of a death streak, but at the end of the day, it's not really affecting the game overall. Like, it's not like they're coming back or anything. They're not getting any map position from my deaths, so they're not detrimental. 
I gotta assume, because I didn't kill that last guy. Gotta assume, yep, he's still there. There he is. The sniper was back there again. I'm just not really interested in it. I just killed basically myself at that point. Ran right into the thermite. I thought I was going to be safe. I wasn't. We got to pay attention to that score. I don't want to choke here. Can I make the jump? Yep. There's a guy here. Where'd he go? Yeah, I'm getting too, again too big for my britches there. If I go here, I should meet him right here. No. I gotta play the OBJ. Yeah, I gotta stop playing these games here. Shoot. Well, the VTOL should. Well, I was going to say should theoretically save me, but. I'll at least drop it on the hill just to save team. Should witness the game. Yeah, I should. 92 kills with the rival nine. That one attachment, man. One attachment changed everything.